Hi everyone, welcome back to another video of mine. And today, what we have here is an is a Gunpla unboxing video. Here is the Dragon Momoko, the Testament Gundam. Um, actually, I do not really know much about this mobile suit, but based on the design of it, I would say that um, it's from similar to the Astray, Astray the era. But yeah, nonetheless, right now in front here is just the box art as usual. The thing that I'm really interested is the claw over here is it really um, this silver color so yeah nonetheless there is some english wording so i'm bringing up for you guys to read it's rather small so so i'm just gonna put it like that so you guys can maybe read it later on So yeah, that's it. Now, of course, we we'll take a look at the side of the box. Here you can see the completed product. The testament, there's the back view. Here is the front view. And then here is the weapons. And of course, you can see the revolver, the claw here. I'm not sure if this again is the shiny silver. So you take a look at that later on. And then here you can see the two guns and you can put on the claws later on there. And then here you can see the backpack will be put at the back. And you can of course put the front like an armor or a shield. And then here is another view of it. You guys can see. And then here you guys can see a little bit of information of it. So then moving on. It says here the detail, display, so on. And then here you can see again the silver color. Only thing I'm really interested in is the silver color to be honest. And then here is just the other side of it. 2017 Dragon Momoko. So yeah, now we'll of course take a look at the parts first. Then we'll take a look at the manual. So welcome back. And now the first thing that I want to show you guys is the stickers. Because all the time I always miss out on the stickers to show you guys. So you guys can actually see here are the stickers it, there isn't really much here I mean as in detail wise so maybe just like uh, to make the color better so yeah one sticker and then here is of course the water decal this the right side here is just white color so I don't think you guys can really see but I can show you here the details over here so yeah now let's move on to the very first part of it here, this part here, it looks like to be a claw part. So yeah, this part here, I'm sure you guys want to see properly. So yeah, there are four of it here. This is part B2. One part is down. And then here, we have a red piece. Let's see if there's any detail to show you guys. Maybe the leg armor piece here. This should be, come on focus, this should be the tie area. Then this is another area here. And then, yeah, and then maybe here, this part here. So yeah, again, this, this, this part should be the hand. So yeah, again, nothing much really to show you guys. And then the next part here, this is a much more larger piece. Is similar to the previous one this should be the first the very first part of it here you can see this should be the skirt armor either front or back I'm not sure which one and then this should be the shoulder armor here this part here and then, yeah the other one are just relatively the same and then next here this I'm sorry I'm a little bit I would say now that I'm a little bit a little bit of color blind, but correct me if I'm wrong, this is green or brown color. But yeah, um nonetheless here you guys can see the inner frame for the legs. So yeah, here looks quite good. There are two here, and then this part here should be the armor here. So yeah, overall, yeah, just like that. Nothing really much unless once everything is fixed then you can have a better proper picture to look at it. And then this part here is again 
this is definitely the leg piece because I can always recognize this part here. This is the Dragon Momoko specialty. And then yeah, everything is relatively the same. I would say that the leg, by the looks of it, the leg inner frame, it looks very similar to the strike, to the strike, the released strike Gundam. And then here just two large pieces. So you guys can see the detail over here. I mean detail wise by the looks of it it really looks really good but again things that I fear is always the building process and here they are just a number of polycap to be to be honest I think they've reduced the amount of polycaps compared to the previous releases they are always a huge amount of polycaps unused and then here you have some clear part clear green part so yeah, should be the face and the other one should be for the scope. And then you have one more extra polycaps here. So yeah, one side of here is done. Now let's take a look at the other side. So now this part here, yeah, this is the... This would be the body, the main body inner frame. And then this is usually the legs. The, I would say the... What you call that? The armor, armor piece, skirt armor piece, yeah. And then here, okay, this is the silver part. I can confirm with you, it's not shiny silver, it's more of like a chrome silver. Just like the Dragon Momoko Strike Freedom. So yeah, you guys can see, it's a chrome silver, not shiny at all. A little bit of let down, but yeah, I mean still it still looks good and then here is another red piece this would be the armor piece they say this one is like sort of like the main the main detail piece of it so yeah looks good looks this this looks like a mask if you can if you get what i mean like the two eyes here and then here's like the nose cover the mouth okay i'm running off topic and then here is another silver piece. Okay, this this is the claw. It's quite obvious. But again, kind of disappointment that it's not shiny. But nonetheless, it still looks good. Let me just show zoom in, you guys. So yeah, you guys can see here. The silver here. There are a total of three, of three of them. And then this part here, I don't know what's this, but this part looks pretty cool. So yeah, and then now here is another inner frame. I'm not sure which part. This should. This looks like the back skirt here. This looks like polycaps, and then this looks like the backpack. So yeah, this one don't really have any much detail. Just like small pieces altogether. And then here should be for the up for the weapons, the inner frame for the weapons. Again, nothing much really to show you guys. Maybe here, there are some details. As you can see, it looks really good. And then, yeah, this part here. You can see there are thrusters. You can see here. So, yeah, looks good. And then, you have one black color piece here. Then, again here, would be the shield armor, I guess. The inner frame of it. And then these two should be the backpack. So, yeah. And then here you have the beam saber effect part. Looks kind of squashy already. <laughs> so, yeah. Let's put this side here. And then here you have the yellow color piece. This, of course, it will be, interest it will be interesting as the weave in here. You guys can see. I think you guys saw the... Um, preview image that the everything is actually sticking out so yeah it's kind of cool only one yellow piece um, yellow piece I guess I'll put here okay and then now here we have the gun the pistol oops this side easier for you guys to see let me zoom again I mean focus so yeah you guys can see it's pretty good you guys can see here this is the claw revolver claw so yeah 
yeah, the rest just like that. And then here should be the ammo here. So yeah, pretty cool, the design of it. This again is the same, is the same piece. So I better take note. And then here, this looks like the shell of it. Looks like the what do I call that? The shotgun shell, if that makes sense. And then here again, you have another piece here. So yeah. Right here, oh my god, this shit is back. This shit is back, boys. This is the very first strike, the movable hands, which I st still can't come to terms of it. But now I've bought the Taiso knife, I might be able to do it. I would try. But thank god, that's not the only hand. You have all these um, fixed poses hand. So yeah, thank god for that. So it's, I mean, it's pretty, it's pretty standard, this one. If you have built um, the previous Dragon Momoko kits, it comes with this uh, usual hand. And finally, here is the hand armor here. So yeah, that's it. The All the runners I've already covered up. Next part, we'll look at the manual. So now here is the manual. Then, as usual, it's just the box art. I mean, you guys can see, it just looks really great. Could really come out as well. I wouldn't mind if Dragon Momoko next time they would release a poster of it. I would actually like to have that idea though. And here is just the back. You guys can see. Yeah, again here, this silver, the shiny silver, it just won't happen. But yeah. Here you guys can see. Let me just show here. As you can see here, this is some of the detail as shown as the box art there. And as you can see here, some of the completed product poses. And then over here as well. I mean, you guys can see the gun here like, dude, this this did not happen bro. So, uh, got all the hopes high for it. But yeah, nonetheless. Here, now, let's see how many parts there is. I did not even count. There is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So there are a total of 24 parts of it. So yep. Now here at the bottom here, you start off with the body unit here. And then next here, you would have the head over here. Just kind of quick process on the head. And then here at the bottom, the arms, then the movable hands, which is a, that should call it a disaster hand. And then here is the waist unit. And then here is the legs. And then here completed the body part. Then here are the weapons. I could say that they are a total of one, the backpack, or you can say the shield. And then here is the claw of it. And then they are a total of four guns over here, four revolver or pistol, I'll just call it them. And then here is the construction of the first shield, as you guys can see we'll put at the back here. And then here is the claw, and then the revolver over here. And then, yeah, I mean, as I flip, it kind of looks a fast process, but yeah, I mean, I still I still include the parts where I need to send. So yeah, and then here, the back of it again. Just to show you guys what are the things you could expect from this kit. I, I think this pose is actually pretty cool. This pose here. You could go... If there's any pro outside that could make a diorama like um, this testament fighting against the Strike Nor. So yeah, that's it for this part of the unboxing video. And if you guys have enjoyed this quick unboxing video, I mean, not really quick but relatively quick. Um, yeah, drop a like down below. If you guys haven't subscribed to me, please don't forget to subscribe to me as there will be more video coming out very soon. So yeah, until then, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and as always, have a good day.